People caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Golf Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting. Well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking hmm. very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... Whew. Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs>
Alfred, where's Ferris? Alfred. Hold it right there! Yeah, got him! Butler's gone crazy. Are you cowards afraid of an old man? Uh, Just take it easy. <laughs> Hope that face wasn't worth something. Oh, look at the rich boy. So long, gross. I've been through worse. These are Penguin's men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. The closest entrance to the Batcave is in the study. a minute? Someone said an iceberg just appeared, uh, exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think- Where's Ferris? He never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. With these guests about, perhaps you should look for that uh, item in the wine cellar. Right. What's he going to do? them to go away just hide here and keep quiet we'll be fine be careful passing through the library sir penguins men have infiltrated the entire manor you keep out of harm's way no more heroics these animals don't frighten me alfred you'd better get to the wine cellar before i have to take on penguins entire gang myself Those men are armed. I'm going to have to take them down quietly if I don't want to get shot. Don't forget, I called dibs on those pearls. I've taken them before we torture them. Sideway man at doors. It's, it's a wise man. Come out of that cave more than once a week, you'd know that the Bat Cave entrance is in the wine cellar's tasting room. Look for the statue.
Watch yourself in that tunnel, sir. It's still suffering from the damage our visitor did on Christmas Eve. donning your extreme environment suit. The XC suit? It's not ready for deployment. Oh dear, I hear helicopters. More penguin brutes. Do hurry. Time to prep the XE suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. Mm -hmm. I need to get back to the manor and find Ferris before Penguin's men do. Sir, before you ask, the formula we used for your glue grenades was unstable. What was left after Christmas Eve was degraded into dust. signal from Alfred.
1,200 years old. So what? Who wants some old wood? Ah, keep your Damn it, Alfred. statue then, and I'm sure your employer will enjoy the hundreds of dollars it will garner on the black market. Hey, old timer, I only need a few hundred to put new rims on my ride. Oh, dear. You've burned several hundred thousand dollars worth of books from 11th century China. But by all means, be sure to get your new room. You, uh, think he's right about his books? Hell no. Look how old they are. They're practically falling apart. Yeah, good point. He thinks he could trick us out of fence in this statue. Bet you it's worth a thousand. Let's just finish this job and get out of here before the roof comes down. What turned your boss's skin blue? Freeze! He ain't our boss. You want to talk to the penguin? Hey! Motormouth. Keep in Hampshire about the boss. What? Oh, right. And it's Mr. Freeze. I wouldn't piss him off, folks. You seriously call him Mr. You ain't met this guy, have you? Is he going to kill Ferris? Probably. You seen his eyes? He don't look like a happy fella, if you know what I mean. Just stop hitting on our hostage. She's using you for information. Yeah, I know, but... Safety, but the Wayne Crest is blocking the exit. This way. That was amazing. You just picked those goons apart. Shh, quiet. They've got Ferris Boyle in the next room. I, I think they're going to kill him.
thank you for the rescue. But I believe the young miss said that Mr. Boyle needs your help. So are you here to stop this Mr. Freeze? Save Ferris Boyle? Inside Wayne Manor. But only Master Bruce wasn't locked up in his panic room. Sir, are you all right? Thanks to you, the hero of Christmas Eve come to rescue us from the... Can I trust you'll get these people to safety? Um, of course. Now that you've dealt with most of these hooligans... You should restore power to your sprinkler system to deal with these fires. Not to worry. I won't allow Wayne Manor to burn to the ground. You know, you really should do an exclusive with me. The people want to know what you're all about. I've got more important things to do. This is important. You've become a hot issue for this city. You need to state for the record what you're trying to accomplish. My actions state that loud and clear. What is happening to this damn city? You've got a new supporter in me. Thanks again. Are you here to stop these maniacs? Stop Boyle, come in. Don't do this. <laughs> Already find us! You can't take us all out! door is frozen shut. I'll need to enter the ballroom through the balcony. Freeze is gone. One of Penguin's goons will know where that chopper's going. How the hell the back get here so fast? Don't wait a second! It's the back!
is he taking Ferris? I, I don't know. I promise. Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He stole one out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. Eight two dispatch. Confirming that code three. Looks like these anarchy fanatics are taking advantage of the lack of police presence down here. Roger, eight two. Continue to monitor. Do not engage without backup. <laughs> no chance of that. I should deal with those anarchy followers, but first I need to track down Penguin's dealer and find out where Freeze has taken Ferris.
Close is the nearest hospital. Heads up, he's close by. He's got one of us. Spread out and find him!
Master! He's in trouble! Oh, not you too! You okay? Come on, man, answer me. Yo! What's going on over there? Keep your eyes against me! Nothing down there. What the? Ah! Who's that? He got you too? This ain't fair. This is entirely not fair. Penguin's dealer is the key to finding Freeze. I should scan this area for clues that might tell me where he went. Whatever this substance is, it's slowly shutting his systems down, putting him into cryostasis. I won't be able to safely remove him from the ice without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. The officer just chanced upon Penguin's men. He wasn't equipped to deal with this cryotech, but the cryo gun was leaking. If I hurry, this trail will lead me right to Penguin's men. Then I can make them tell me where this tech came from. 
Alfred, Penguin's men are using cryogenic weapons to encase innocent people in ice. I'm going to need the thermal gloves and the XC suit to break them free. I'll get to work immediately, sir. Any idea where these weapons are coming from? I'll get that answer when I catch up with Penguin's dealer. That's the guy! That's the guy! Freeze. You think I know? You plan on celebrating the new year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff. Uh, uh, Ferris Boyle. He's in Gothcorp last I saw. You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I... Uh, Gothcorp, I swear. Look, I've got the entry codes. I'll take those. It doesn't make sense. Gothcorp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this.
Please, you come running. Sure thing, boss. What are you going to do with me? You? <laughs> Assuming you're Frank and cooperate, I'm sure we won't have to do anything. The Golf Corp Organics Lab is devoted to researching cellular cryogenics in plants. Applications of this research include the ability to grow food in inhospitable environments and helps us keep donated organs viable for extended periods. The future is exciting here at the People Company. is researching new types of super cool propellants to help launch our country and the world into the future. Whether it's satellite sensors that help farmers manage their crops or preparing humanity for the colonization of Mars, Gothcorp is on the bleeding edge of cryotechnology for the betterment of humanity. That's why we are called the People Company. Those men were armed. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh... They're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab. Through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. Once Alfred has the XE suit prepped, I'll be able to come back and release this person. So shy all of a sudden, huh? What happened to that spirit of sharing? I... I'm cooperating! I'm cooperating! I know, I know, but we all got jobs, see? And, and my job is to shoot you if I don't think you're telling me the truth. I told you there are no weapons here. It's just plants, tissue research. Yeah, you said. Then you believe me. You know what? I do. I do believe you. But to be honest, <laughs> I just really love my job. Oh, God. Let's check it out! 
you on GNN. You just saved my life. You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here. Take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcorp. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham.
Boil, or I'll freeze this entire room. Oh, I know you won't. Boyle's got the code you need, and I ain't giving him up unless I get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I'm interested in is the weapons I was promised. I know you're holding out on me. This will not end well for you, Cobblepot. <laughs> I think you're confused about what exactly is about to happen to you. As soon as you show us that big fishbowl, my boys will blow it up. And if that don't work, I'll be sure to blow your precious code. he need boil. Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gothcorp has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill, a cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at My Alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I'd better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. Warning! Critical failure in propellant research wing. Please evacuate. You won't receive Danger! Critical failure in stage two. Fueling process. Emergency protocols. Without the XE suit, I'd never survive in that cloud of cryo vapor. You don't have to breathe. You don't have to take the next thing you know. Give me a man die die. System on the exit to the lobby. We can escape. No one's escaping until we get the penguin. So I don't care what you are a guard, an engineer, or a dude. This cryo vapor is lethal. On a DXC suit, we have to survive inside one of these clouds. Danger. Cryogenic reactor. Where'd you come from? That was incredible. Come with me. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. I gotta say. Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the Batwing drop it there. It's on its way. Incoming, sir.
The thermal gloves should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir. And the suit will provide... Sir, I suggest you deal with the last of these activists as soon as you're able. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. is a prison in the police its wardens to protect and serve their motto goes and they do protect and serve themselves we live in fear of their gaze their billy clubs and guns when they walk down the streets we avert as if there isn't enough going on tonight damn it the bombs are still active there must be a second failsafe detonator nearby i don't have much time a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. Nowhere to 
tell me again. You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, but it ain't here. Penguin said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. How much longer? We gotta be out in this stupid, stupid weather. Penguin said to wait for his call. He's setting something up with a buyer. Yeah, but he ain't called. You don't think... I mean, you don't think Freeze would have turned on him. I wouldn't doubt it. A guy ain't human. Looks at everything like it's his next meal. I know. And those eyes, goggles, whatever. Wow. Gives me... well, chills. Are you two quivering idiots sure you're in the right line of work?
assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. Now, Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Gothcorp now. Security breach in the organics lab. Lockdown protocols in effect. What's bitch you get you? We're gonna rip this place apart until we find a way to get penguin. Who blast?
need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. Huh. He can't get to us. Not while the lab's full of cryovapor. Big mistake. The long that cryovapor is pumping out bases. We can't get to us. Cryovapor. I see. You can't get to vapor while they still power to the tank. Shake the way I play on space. There are power conduits running through the greenhouses. I should be able to disable them with a thermocharged batarang. break up the ice encasing that vantage.
Just another gimpy jump. I'm in shock, all right? I can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm in shock, all right? I can't believe what I'm seeing. God, Breeze took out the paint. It looks like he broke off the bat. This Breeze guy took a shot from me, huh? Evacuate this lab with cryo vapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as freezes. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. The trail ends here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die.
Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo vapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea, but this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryoweapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gordon. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Gothcorp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. Trying, boss. This ice is tough. Oh, you completely and utterly dead. Get over here, you nasty fucker. Put your scrawny little neck on me. Punch him in the face. Welcome to the party. Come on, now. remind me why I pay you, Ponzi. He can't keep this up. Are you waiting for a personal invitation? Well, 
you you gonna get me on this damn iceberg? You're good right where you are. But but you can't leave me here. I'll freeze to death. Not my problem. Oh, so you come back to gloat, have you? Oh, I'll hang you with that bloody cape. You hear me? Oh, let me win. You're not gonna let me die, are you? Are you? So will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident! You don't know what you're talking about! What? Nothing matters, do you understand? Nothing but my Nora! You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. She wants us to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. Because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. Where are the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain! Sir, you can overload those cryogenerators using your thermal gloves. Look for the control panels. Can't you see that we are alike, Batman? Both doing what we must for what is right? This is not your concern. It is between Boyle and me. Find the control panels for those cryogenerators and disable them. Hey, 
how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs.
you have forced me to do this. Well, that's time. I'm out and do what you came to do. You want to stop me? Then come out of the shadows! Batman for forcing my hand. Hmm? Have you lost your resolve? Mine remains as strong as ever. You will not stop me with these toys, Batman. Damn you, Batman, for forcing my hand! Your technology is in fear. You will not stop me with these. Your technology is in fear. You will not stop me with these toys. Your, te your technology will not stop me with these toys, Batman. Where are you? Not allow him to escape again. He's escaped! You want to stop me? Then come out of the shadows! Well, that man, come out and do what you came to do. Lost your resolve. Mine remains as strong as ever. You only anger me. How did he escape? Where are the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. Let's come out of the shadows. 
Your technology is inferior, Batman. He escaped. Well, Batman, come out and do what you came to do. Back. Police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. And that just leaves you. Please, you can save her. You just have to buy past the trial. Victor! She died! I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! Go! Take 
take a seat. Humanitarian. Cryogenic containment restored. I'm sorry, Victor. I can't give you peace. But I can give you justice. Breaking news out of North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Under extreme pressure from Gotham's citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the frontrunner. And now to South Gotham, where Vicki Vale brings us this live report. Thanks, Janine. I'm standing at the corporate headquarters of Goth Corp, where Captain Gordon has confirmed that Goth Corp CEO Ferris Boyle has been taken into police custody. Police report that Mr. Boyle stands accused of manslaughter, extortion, and attempted murder. Shocking accusations given that just earlier tonight, he accepted the Wayne Foundation's award for Humanitarian of the Year. Also in custody is the notoriously elusive underworld crime boss Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin as well as a Goth Corp cryogenicist, Victor Freeze. Mr. Freeze is being held under heavy guard at Gotham General, receiving treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Quincy Sharp has suggested that Mr. Freeze is yet another example of the type of criminal that needs the specialized care that only Arkham Asylum can provide. Police credit these arrests to solid police work, but this reporter suspects the vigilante known as the Batman had more than a small role to play. On a personal note, I owe Batman a debt of gratitude for rescuing me from almost certain death earlier this evening. So, thank you, Batman. For all of us. Back to you, Janine. Thanks, Vicky. The Batman continues to be one of the top stories this holiday season. So as we here at GNN wish you all a happy and safe New Year's Eve, we'll leave you with just a few of the comments you've made about Gotham's caped crusader. I was surrounded. Next thing you know, bam, boom, kapow! The bastards are all on the ground, KO'd. I didn't even see him coming. Oh, it was all a blur. He just whooshed in out of nowhere. Listen, I'm a cop. I can't condone what he does, but I can be grateful he's doing it. Oh, he's real, all right. I got the bruises to prove it. He's real, he's ruthless, and there ain't nothing in the world that's gonna stop him. Congratulations, sir. Victor, Ferris, and even that scoundrel Cobblepot are all in custody. Shall we call it a night, then? Not yet, Alfred. There's still work to be done. Need a drink? You and me both. But everything's shut down. 